hello and welcome to Berkeley, California. We are up in the hills. We are overlooking the campus and the entire city of Berkeley, as well as San Francisco over there. And today we're gonna showcase some of the restaurants, the food scene, the hiking trails, and some of the cultural aspects of Berkeley that you might not have known about. Let's Check go. Check it out. Let's Check head. it out. Berkeley is one of our favorite dynamic cities in California, and we can't wait to show you around. Guess where we are today? UC Berkeley, and we are checking out the campus and the surrounding areas. It is sunset and everyone is watching the beautiful skyline of the bay. It is so peaceful to walk around this campus. We are at the oldest building on campus circa 1873, South Hall. UC Berkeley's campus contains 178 acres of landscaped grounds, historic architecture, and redwood forests. But now it's time to go off campus to the Berkeley Village for brunch. We are going to Baker and Commons. Just got the veggie quiche. Look how beautiful that is on the salmon salad. This delicious storefront used to be a historic soda fountain and opened in 1921. We are walking around. It is an early November day and we just got some brunch at Baker and Common. We're gonna go check out some neighborhoods. We're in the Elmwood neighborhood and we're gonna take you on hiking with us. Join us. Also, right in town, we have giant redwoods. One of the things that we really like about visiting Berkeley is just how eclectic the neighborhoods are. And look at how beautiful some of the homes are too. One of the things that makes Berkeley special is its eclectic storefronts, ranging from yoga, Tibetan cuisine, crystals, and wine bars. To start your shopping experience, check out 4th Street or Telegraph Ave. Now it's time to check out some of the arts and culture that Berkeley has to offer. We're at the Berkeley Art Museum and Pacific Archives here in Berkeley, California. We're gonna go for a tour. And one of my favorite features of this museum is Babette. There's a cute cafe at the top. So we're inside the museum and they have some art here on feminism. This red staircase is one of my favorite features of the museum. So here's a fun fact. This staircase is the same color as the Golden Gate Bridge. We check out the Buddhist exhibit that's on display. And if you like this tour of Berkeley so far, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. After grabbing a drink at one of the most photogenic cafes we've ever seen, it is time to cross over into the Berkeley campus to the top of the hills. Hey guys, we're at the Lawrence and we're here. It's named after the first Nobel laureate of UC Berkeley. And we're gonna be checking out some seismic exhibits registering earthquakes. Earthquakes. This is so California. Come on in with us. Let's go. Woo! Also this view, guys. Incredible. I really can't imagine a better place for a picnic. The exhibits at the Lawrence are family friendly and thought provoking, but it's time to capture some more nature. So let's go to the top of the hills. So we are at the University of California Botanical Gardens. This place is huge. It's situated up in the hills and they have a redwood grove here. This is like the quintessential California experience to visit redwoods. Wow, look at this bright yellow tree. So radiant. It is another world in here. There's so many different pathways 
and they traverse all of the different types of ecosystems. So we just saw redwoods, which is amazing. Now we're walking along and some of these plants are from China, Japan, Korea, Japanese pond. The botanical gardens are truly magical. And if you agree, comment below. Now it's time to check into the historic Shattuck Hotel, built over a hundred years ago. Hey guys, we are at the Hotel Shattuck Plaza here in Berkeley. We just want to show you the room. Look at this giant, comfy, king-size bed. Nice, big, spacious bathroom, marble, so pretty. Hey guys, we're at the Hotel Shattuck Plaza. We're at their in-house restaurant called Zeno. We have a really amazing bar here. Zeno offers classy ambiance and delicious craft cocktails. Mouthful of gold. Got a mouthful of gold. Now we head to locally owned and operated restaurant called Jupiter, which serves some of the best beers and jazz music. There's also a new way to pay with the first ever citywide e-gift card called Berkeley Bucks, redeemable throughout Berkeley. It makes a great gift for those visiting Berkeley and link in the description for more. We are on the 4th Street area in Berkeley and this is an old industrial area that they reinvented creatively. It's filled with wine bars. Kind of get a little bit of a cool, fun, Berlin vibe here, but come and join us. We're going to Vinca Minor. So we are trying the tasting set and we have the California Chardonnay. Mm. Delicious, mm. buttery, smooth Chardonnay. Mm. Berkeley is known for its array of international cuisines. Can you guess which one we'll try? Now time to check out an Ethiopian restaurant. Boom. Ooh, this is perfect for the vegetarians. All right, so we are trying Ethiopian food and we just got the jira, which is the special Ethiopian bread. And we got the vegetarian dish. So we're dipping it in lentils. Mm. So good. So here's a map of Berkeley and the surrounding areas. We are right here at the Claremont Hotel. And as you can see, we are completely surrounded by natural areas and hiking trails and even redwood trees. We just made it to the top of the Berkeley Hills. This view is out of control. You can see like some of the homes back here and then in the distance, you can see the Oakland Bay Bridge behind us. And then you can also see the city and the Golden Gate Bridge. Don't forget the sunset. All in one photo. You know what I love about Berkeley? is that every time I come here, I have a different experience. You can visit the nature trails, the university. You can have that historic eclectic experience. Whatever you have in mind, Berkeley is here. And because we're on the East Bay, we get the entire view of San Francisco. It is absolutely stunning up here. We just stopped off the road when we saw this view and we're taking it all in, but it is incredible here. Look at the landscape here. We reached the top of the trail and it smells like pine. Oh, it's refreshing. I love all the picnic benches up here. We are on the Tilden Trails. Sea view trail, baby. Let's go. Now, view of 
the East Bay on the other side of the Berkeley Hills. Honestly, we are just a few minutes from a major urban area and it feels like we are a world away up here. It is so peaceful, so quiet. You can hear the birds, it's fresh air. It just looks like a painting. Now switching gears, it's time to check out an award-winning restaurant here in Berkeley. Gaumann Kitzel. Gaumann and we're Kitzel. here in um, Berkeley, and this place has amazing food. It's organic German slow food. So kind of interesting touches, a lot of fish on the menu. Also a lot of lighter stuff too. And we're gonna take you on a German food tour with us here in Berkeley. Check Let's it out. Okay, the beer list here is very extensive. This is like an entire book. Mike, did beer. you pick out a beer? No, yet? there's too many. I wanna pick them all out. Reading through the book, a beer. Parsley soup with smoked trout, cabbage salad, and the carrot salad. This is like German home cooking. They make the potato salad in-house with homemade mayonnaise and yogurt. So we have some delicious treats here. We have the toasted almond cinnamon cake, German style. A strawberry rhubarb rosemary strusel. The strudel actually originated in Austria, but the strusel is popular in Germany, and that is the streusel right there. And this right here is a black plum cinnamon streusel cake. And we have bread. We are walking around in search of getting matcha. matcha. Oh my gosh, ah, this is where matcha oh, happens. Look this, guys, look at all the matcha. This is insane. And look, there's different types of cones. Oh my gosh, and there's cakes in spongy boxes. A delicious matcha treat is the perfect way to round out a trip to Berkeley. Yay, Mike, how is it? I love you so much. Thank you for joining us on our visit to Berkeley, California. We took you outdoors. We took you on our foodie tour our wine tour, but we really invite you to come to Berkeley and have your own unique experience. Share your thoughts yes. in the comment section, your favorite restaurants, hiking trails, places to visit, hidden treasures. Let us know, hit us up. Like and subscribe.